Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 26 in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is about oscillations. In this one, we can see for these simple harmonic oscillations, we have a mass m and it is stationary at one end. Then it hit by a hammer. The hammer gave it impulse j at the initial time t equal to zero. Then we need to find write the formula for these simple harmonic oscillations. So first thing we look at this process. So hammer gave it his uh, impulse, right? So make it get his uh, velocity v and start to do oscillations. So the hammer's j equal to the change of the momentum. The final momentum is mass times v. Initial momentum is zero because it's uh, stationary, right? And then in this one we can get v in this function. And then we can see it start to do the simple oscillations. This is at the end. At initial, it's uh, uh, energy. It's just equal to the kinetic energy, one half mv squared. And it uh, just uh, moves to the end of the spring. So th this one has the energy becomes the uh, potential energy, elastic potential energy, one half ka squared. Agree? And we also know for the simple harmonic oscillations, omega equal to this function, squared k over m. So from this equation, we can get the v equal to omega times a, right? So v equal to the k over m times the squared k over m times a, and then input is omega inside, we get this function, right? So you can see this is equal to v, this is also equal to v, so that means these two equals there. Agree? And uh, it equals, so we can get the A amplitude. So at the first, we can see it tells us it is stationary at the balanced position, then hit by the hammer. So we can write these formulas as A sine omega t. We can find the amplitude and omega. And in these uh, two functions, we can get uh, the amplitude there, omega there, so we input omega and amplitude inside, we get function look like this one, then we are done. Thank you.